देर इज नो वे टू हैपीनेस हैपीनेस इज द वे नमस्कार वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट आई एस आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर मेजर स्पीशीज विच वी आर रिसेंटली इन द न्यूज एंड दे आर ऑल्सो रेलिवेंट फॉर यूपीएससी सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट स्टार्ट टू डेज डिस्कशन विद किलर वेल विच आर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रिकोगनाइजेबल मेरीन मेमल्स विद देयर डिस्टिंगटिव ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट बॉडीज दे आर द ओशन टॉप प्रिडिटर एंड लार्जेस्ट मेंबर ऑफ डॉल्फिन फैमिली दे आर हाईली सोशल एंड मोस्ट लिव इन सोशल ग्रुप कॉल्ड पोर्ट्स दे कैन लीव अप टू नाइनटी ईयर्स with female usually living longer than males talking about their habitat they occur in a wide range of habitats in both open seas and coastal waters they are also found in tropical and subtropical waters they can be seen in every ocean in the world and they are most abundant in colder waters like antarctica norway and alaska they are facing major threats due to entanglement in fishing gear lack of food contaminants and oil spills and iucn red list of threatened species classifies them as data deficient species now let's know about sea otter which is the smallest marine mammal and is the largest member of v cell family it is very social animal and floats in single sex groups known as rafts talking about their habitat they live in coastal areas with shallow water and they find their food on the ocean floor they can be seen in canada japan mexico russian federation and united states they are key players in the health of kelp forest they inhabit but oil spills are the greatest anthropogenic threat to sea otters and iucn red list of threatened species classifies them as endangered species and do you know friends sea otter can live its entire life without leaving the water now let's know about manipuri pony which is also known as maitai sagol and it is one of the seven recognized horse and pony breeds of india the others include marwadi horse kaithiawadi horse chanskari pony spiti pony bhutia pony and kachi sindhi horse Manipuri pony is a highly valued breed because it is known for its unique stamina, agility, intelligence, speed, maneuverability and great adaptability to harsh geoclimatic conditions. But in recent years its population has been declining. Talking about their utility, they are used in traditional events like lai harauba, polo and horse races. They were also utilized as mounts by cavalry of the Manipur kingdom which was feared throughout Upper Burma during the 17th century. They are facing major threats due to shrinking of wetlands rapid urbanization and encroachment restrictions of pony usage except in game of polo uncontrolled diseases and in 2013 manipur government declared the manipuri pony as endangered breed now let's know about iberian lynx which is a medium sized nocturnal cat with short tail short body long legs and relatively small head it is the world's most endangered cat which mostly depends on wild rabbits to feed talking about the distribution of iberian lynx it was once distributed throughout the iberian peninsula but now it is sparsely distributed in spain and portugal in early 19th century it was found in spain portugal and southern france it is threatened by habitat loss road accidents and illegal hunting and iucn red list of threatened species classifies it as endangered species it is also protected in spain and portugal and it is listed in appendix 1 of sites and appendix 2 of bern convention now it is in the news because recently number of iberian lynx in the wild in spain and portugal has nearly doubled since 2020 now let's know about oidocladium sahadricum which is a new algal species and it was recently discovered in western ghats here sahadricum Come refers to the Western Ghats, which is also known as Sahyadri, and it is rich in plant diversity and provides ideal conditions for the growth of terrestrial microalgae. And do you know, friends, this is the first time a species in Oidocladium category has been recorded in Kerala. It was identified by its unique features, such as being dioecious and terrestrial, having a superior operculum. and possessing elapisoid pogonium and oospore it looks like most protonema and as you can see it is velvety green but turns yellowish green as it matures rainy weather is likely needed for its abundant growth talking about its utility species of oida cladium have potential practical applications in medicine agriculture and in the production of natural pigment astaxanthin which is well documented for its unique biological activities and health benefits in 
the last let's attempt today's question which is based on previous slides in this question species in use and their iucn red list status is given and here first is killer whale and here its iucn status is vulnerable sea otter and its iucn status is endangered iberian lynx and its iucn status is least concern you have to answer how many of the above pairs are correctly matched and your options are only one only two only three and none mark your presence and write your answers in the comment section so with this let's conclude our today's discussion thanks for listening and for regular updates you can follow us on various social media platforms